Well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, the day has come. The new vehicle is in. Um, I did have to order it. Um, I didn't order it. I just snagged one that was in production. It hadn't even shipped yet. So I got that one. It was the model that I wanted, and they are few and far between. Um, yes, I'm looking at it and admiring it. Um, anyway, so full retail on that was 40000 and um, I didn't feel like filming it at the dealership because you know it's always a pain in the ass it takes an hour and a half to get through that process uh, but I did take care of most of it online before I went in and it is a dealership that I've purchased many cars from so they're pretty good to me they didn't charge me all that um, bull crap that dealerships like to do number one they market adjustment I didn't get hit for that um, and the nitrous tires or the tinted windows or the Foo foo smell fresh whatever the hell that is stuff they do to cars and jack up the price another hundred or not a hundred but another thousand bucks um, <clears throat> anyway so we picked it up yesterday uh, I was tinkering with it all last night in the garage um, but I guess you're dying to see what it is aren't you aren't you aren't you <laughs> well I'm gonna show you <laughs> and then I'm gonna tell you everything we're gonna do to it all right you ready are you ready are you ready here it comes. Yes, it is a 2023 Toyota RAV4 TRD. So it's got all the bells and whistles. It is their top model for the RAV4. As you can see, the TRD off road. It supposedly comes with a full size tire, however, that is not the case. It is a full-size donut, <laughs> which uh, is not going to work for me. So as we go around the front here, isn't she pretty? All right. Now, imagine that with a two-inch lift up front to bring the car up a little more level because it does look like it nose dives, all of them do. A one and a half inch lift in the back. Um, and then we're gonna keep the same wheels, uh, the TRD RAV4 wheels, and we're gonna put bigger Falcon Wild Peak tires on. By the way, these are not even real Falcon Wild Peaks. They're actually made for Toyota. Um, if you notice the tread wear is different on this tire than it is on the real Falcon Wild Peaks. And this one does not have the snow and ice or water and ice rating on it. So it is not good for me to take skiing. So anyway, we're going to put some real Falcon Wild Peaks on there. Because um, they're cheaper and easier to get than the new BF Goodrich All-Terrain Trail tires. Which is what I'd really like to have. But everywhere I call, they don't have my size. Um, we're going to go from a... 225 6018 to a 245 6018 uh, which will give us another uh, oh, good inch inch and a half of lift on there on top of that um, and then we're going to keep one of these tires and we're going to buy a new uh, just cheap rim and we're going to put that in the back let me show you the back it's kind of nice oops I gotta unlock it first, dummy. There we go. Come on. There you go. And you wait 10 minutes and that'll open up. So we did get the nice little grocery holder, the netting that goes across the back here. It does have the no peaky cover. It's got the rubbered mats throughout the car. Um, but, oh, come on, it's got this, look at this little donut, but what's nice is you do have the clearance, if you look under there, you've got another, oh good, two and a half to three inches of clearance, um, so a 225 tire will fit in here no problem on a basic rim. Also, one of the things we're going to do to this too is, this is going to come out, and there's gonna be a big old JBL um, bass speaker going in there. 
if the mounts are still in it because in the in the hybrids the batteries are actually underneath here so if the mount will allow for it I'm going to add an additional uh, battery down there and I'm going to run the cabling up to the main battery and I'm going to use that for the amp possibly I don't know I might run just the wire up and under but I do want to run the amp power uh, to the battery I've seen people that will wire it up under here and connect into the 12 volt but this thing draws way too much power uh, for that that wiring is much smaller obviously because it's just a you know one of these little doohickeys um, so I don't believe it has enough power to run the amp I've seen people wire it that way but um, that's too much of a draw for that small of a wire so I'm gonna rewire it anyway that's it for that um, it comes with a 2.5 liter uh, four four cylinder yeah four cylinder engine um, 203 horsepower we will put a um, a k and air filter intake on this one this is pretty nice I turn a little light on maybe that'll help yeah maybe not <laughs> yeah no anyway so it's got the fog lights I like the seats I got the TRD logos on there I always put a towel on my armrest because if, if I'm wearing a t-shirt I don't want to wear that out it's kind of nice I like the red trim it's got a big ass head unit jeez things monstrous um, we do have a sunroof which is a bonus and the back seats very nice very comfortable I, I'm six foot one six foot six foot one you know depending on the day and when I set my seat for me to drive I can still sit back here with uh, plenty of leg room no problem and we do have a nice little old down do hickey there for your uh, cocktail I mean sodas um, oh I've got a little window sticker coming for here it's the the flag type deal um, I've already ordered all brand new speakers here up in the dash um, both uh, front and rear have door speakers they are six and a half inch um, these are just uh, single but I'm doing a two-way uh, for the doors and those are all JBL as well we do have the roof racks um, and then we've got all the extra off-road features so we have a oh what do they call it a sequential um, differential in the rear so if this thing's teetering on you know the left front and right rear tire it stops the op opposing tires and gives all the power to the other two wheels um, we you know basically normal you've got these are your driving modes so you can do uh, economy normal sport and then if you want to go into rock crawl you just turn it to that way and then sand this way and then you've got snow uh, here basically just adjusts all the driving so you're not taking it off-road when you don't want to we've got cooled seats heated seats which is a bonus here in Arizona um, the stereo is it's actually it puts out a lot of power um, but you know the speakers you know if you've ever watched the the Tacoma video that we did um, the speakers are just garbage so I mean they're they're paper thin uh, yeah, anyway they're garbage so we're gonna get uh, all brand new JBL speakers and put those in there if you were to buy the JBL option for this thing um, it does come with 11 speakers this has what six we'll have seven um, with the base in the back <clears throat> but the JBL system from Toyota is like 1800 bucks for this car so I'll just spend the 600 on speakers and it doesn't need an amp it does really good um, so anyway the lift kit that we're putting on here is the Riki I'll put the picture up in the top of the screen so you can see what I'm talking about it's only a few hundred bucks um, but if you watched my lift videos on the other uh, and some of the issues that we had after the lift with the dealership they're like yeah we're not gonna touch it so this time I'm having the dealership put the lift on the vehicle this way 
if I have ever have any warranty issues or anything like that, they'll take care of it. They'll service the vehicle. And it doesn't affect um, the driving or the front differential or the front um, uh, drive lines to the wheels. So it's a decent lift. Um, that is the one they recommended. That's the one they said they would stand behind. So that's the one I'm putting on. Um, other than that, we're not gonna do a whole lot. I did order um, the fog lights for the front. So we're gonna do the same exact fog lights that we did on the Tacoma. They make them for this as well. Uh, I'm not doing anything on the grill. I'm debating whether I wanna cut all of this out here, across here, and then down the other side to put a uh, bumper slash winch. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I wanna get that crazy this time, so. At least Wendy's telling me not to go balls out on this thing. Because honestly, we're probably not going to take it off road that much. I mean, we go skiing every winter and we go camping in the summer and things like that up north. Um, so that, I mean, as long as I can get off road and decent off road, it has, um, I think it's 8.4 inches of clearance now. And then after we do the lift and the wheels, we should be closer to about 10 inches of clearance, so we can get pretty much anywhere we want to go. Um, I mean, obviously we're not rock crawling for any means, but anyway, I really like it. It's super comfortable. Um, like I said, it's hard to fathom this RAV4. You know, I used to think back the old RAV4s, they were crap. They had that big giant tire on the back end of them. I think that was... Uh, Oh, that was like their second and third phase and they went through. Now this is phase five or version five that they've gone through. But it has a lot of pick up and go. Um, but like I said, paying for, I paid 40 grand for the Tacoma. Although this is a little bit more plush, I gotta say. It's nice to drive. Um, I'm gonna have fun tinkering with it. Hope you'll enjoy. We'll do uh, videos on the stuff that we make changes on. If you want to subscribe and follow along, love to have you. Thanks for watching.